Hey everybody, what's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel, Tammy Talks here. So, not a good video today y'all. Um, we want to start off, well I want to start off by saying first and foremost, rest in peace to Takeoff. As a lot of us found out or heard this morning that Takeoff, who was one third of the Migos, has passed away. So... I found out early this morning. So I wake up at 5 o'clock for work. Um, I start work at 7 when I'm in the office. I got to wake up a little earlier. So when I woke up this morning, or every morning usually, one of the first things I do was I hop on Twitter. And I just kind of scroll until my alarm snoozes again. And the first thing I saw was someone saying, or a... Um, an article, a tweet, if you will, saying that Quavo and Takeoff were both shot. Now, it came from Hollywood Unlocked, who, while Jason Lee has been very spot on with some things, he has also had some huge things that he's had to walk back. So, I, myself, like most people, we wait for TMZ to put out the report, right? That's just how I kind of feel about it. Until TMZ says you're dead, then you're not. So we're waiting for, or I was waiting for that, but as I was scrolling through, I started to see more and more people that were quote unquote sources and eyewitnesses that were popping up that were saying that, yes, they, you know, there was a, there was a shooting. So the facts that we know so far are that Quavo and Takeoff we're at a bowling alley in Houston for, I believe it was like a birthday party. They were outside shooting dice. Apparently, Quavo was the one that was playing. He was losing. He felt the way. I have my thing like that. He felt the way about. He felt the way about that. Started to get a little, a little snippy. Started to have a little bit. You know, he was mad that he was losing, and it turned into. Uh, a them versus them, okay? So the people that were there with Quavo and Takeoff versus the people that they were playing with. So what I, and this is allegedly, what I have read from numerous different articles is that Offset, I mean, I'm sorry, Takeoff was not involved in any altercation. But once Takeoff stood up, he got caught in friendly fire as people like to say it he got caught in the crossfire so there are some reports that are saying that Quavo was shot in the head and it came at the hands of somebody that was on him and Quavo's team that was shooting at the other side and in doing that I guess when um takeoff stood up he was shot he was so <sighs> No matter what happened or how, like, it's a terrible, terrible situation. Takeoff was 28 years old. 28 years old. I remember being 28 years old and you just don't, you don't think about your life ending at that point. It's such a young age. 28 is a baby in the grand scheme of things. You know what I mean? So one thing that I do want to kind of point out, just talk about a little bit vent if you will what is the we've become so desensitized on social media to different deaths and different very chaotic and, and gruesome and vulgar things all because we're chasing likes and retweets so the number of people and there's a difference between tweeting oh my god i heard did you guys hear about takeoff blah 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 versus the people that are posting his body posting his his lifeless body as he bleeds out the people that are posting quavo um, the video of Quavo, you know, trying to pick him up and Quavo obviously full of emotion and, and, and yelling and just like, that was like, cause what are they cousins or uncle and nephew? They have like, they're all like related in some capacity or, or something like that. So the fact that people are like posting that video for, for likes. But like I guess I don't understand what is the what is the end game when you post that video? 
What is, what is the end game? What are you gaining out of posting a video of, of Quavo over a family member, a bandmate, a friend yelling and screaming? What is that? I even responded to somebody because like the amount of times I saw it on my timeline was ridiculous. But it's like that triggers people. What if what if I'm somebody that had a, a friend or family member or a spouse or a partner or something like that die just in that same manner? Recently, people die all the time. People get shot literally all the time. I am. I live in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Every night on the news, we hear about three or four different shootings. So, like, that is triggering. I don't understand people. So, I responded and just even said, like, what is the point of posting this? For someone to write back and say, well, it's reality. Of course it's reality. It's insensitive. Because you, you're not posting this out of awareness for anything. You're posting it because you're trying to get your social media stats up. That is trash to me. That is such trash. I cannot believe the lengths that people go through for this. It is, it's crazy to me. Absolutely crazy. It's tacky. I've seen a lot of victim blaming. And people don't realize that they're victim blaming, but but they are. For someone to say, well, why was he even shooting dice? It's victim blaming. I'm guilty of it. I'm definitely guilty of it. One of the first things that I thought was, why isn't he in a casino? But there are so many people that are like, well, you know, why is he out playing dice in the, in the alley? Why is he out doing this? Those are, I mean, while, yeah, they're valid questions, they're not questions that need to be asked right now. You know what I mean? Like, we, I just feel like we as a, as a people, and when I say we as a people, I mean us as a society, us as people that are on social media, us as Twitter users, us as YouTubers, us as Instagrammers, Pinterest, Tumblr, whatever you use, TikTok. There's absolutely no reason for you to post the body of somebody after they are deceased. It's even worse when you go to just search that person's name and then you see um, blank video behind it. Like people are searching it. People want to see it. You see all the time where people are like, yo, tag me in the video, tag me in the video. Why? Because what are you gaining from seeing it? What are you gaining by being the one to show the video of his lifeless body? What, what are you gaining? Couple hundred likes? Couple thousand likes? You weren't there. You're not going to be interviewed. You're not going to get any status or anything from it. You're not going to get money from it. You're sharing a watermarked video. I feel like we have to do better. We, we definitely have to do better. It's somebody posted a meme that showed all the different rappers that we have lost. Just rappers, not including singers and actors and actresses and producers and, and publicists. But just all the rappers we have lost in the past four years. Most which have come from gun violence. Rest in peace to take off. Um, you hate to hear about anybody passing away. You hate to hear about anybody passing away at such a young age. 28 is a baby, y'all. It doesn't feel that way when you are 28, but in the grand scheme of things, 28 is a baby. Rest in peace to 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 take off to his family. Um I think it's still unclear to us as, you know, fans outside looking in if him and Offset have resolved their their issues, you know, the whole the Migos thing, them breaking up and um take off and Quavo going one way, Offset going another. Just Prayers up to everybody involved. Prayers up to Quavo. You know, like, having to see that is difficult. You know what I mean? He was there. 
you know, you can see him trying to, you know, pick him up. Whether it was like to get him to a hospital or just shock or disbelief. So rest in peace to take rest in peace to take off. We got to do better on social media and how we choose to spread the message. Catch you guys in the next one.